Hello my fellow YouTubers. This video today is going to be a little experiment on tuning a coil that you make for a secondary. We're going to go ahead and um, put a frequency into this coil and how we're going to do it is I have here on the breadboard a 555 and in between number um, seven and number two I have a potentiometer and coming out of potentiometer for sound effects so I can hear what I'm doing I got it hooked up to a little beeper and then from the positive and negative side of the oscilloscope we're going to look at frequency and we're going to look at the wave that we're making that's being put into this big coil. Now what you're looking at up here is um, is a it's a receiver coil for a transmitter tower. And uh, this is adjustable. And what I'm going to try out, and that's what this experiment's about, is to um, have this wirelessly pick up the vibration from that frequency onto this tuning coil. And it's done by moving this coil inside and in and out of it. So right now we're going to find out what the resonant frequency of this coil is. This coil here is uh, it's wound with um, uh, this here is a 26 gauge magnetic wire. It's uh, the diameter of the PVC is four and a half turns or four and a half um, inches. The uh, the length of the wire going around one full circumference is 14 uh, inches and the uh, length of the wire is 14 inches. So this is one of my ratio uh, experiments that I'm trying. Uh, instead of doing a four or five or three to one ratio, um, I'm trying it a different way. I think a la Tesla, a la um, Ed Lee Scallon uh, to where um, the um, the length of one full diameter should be the length of the turns in one in some harmonics ratio, but also it's the blast that goes off. Each one of these represents the uh, rings, and each ring is a vibratorial explosion happening one right after each other so that's why it's important to have this secondary set up to where it's um, uh, dimensionally set up right so i believe that the one the the wavelength is the diameter and um the uh diameter by length of the release of these many vibrations will come out in one blast so um coming out the top of a, like a secondary on your transmitting tower um uh this this will be jumping on that standing wave and pulling in so uh, in order to get this to be in tuned with that, here's where your adjustments come in. Because once you get these in right resonance here, now you're going to be uh, attracting the vibration from the frequency of that. And what you're going to have is uh, power. And... This is where it gets tricky because we're going to be designing a um, <clears throat> capacitant ground 
a dual ground uh, system here that's going to, uh, uh, I'm going to create an oscillation through this receiver um, to use ground as amperage. So let's go ahead and fire this puppy up. Woohoo, NASCAR! All right, so I'm proud of this, guys. This is like uh, cool research. It really just took uh, getting over the hill, really. I mean, um, explosive. So uh, now it's time to focus more on one is the bigger, the bigger sparks, the bigger um, tree trunk um, deliveries. Um, there's many difference in 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 the um, the delivery driver system. You can see that in the spikes or the tree like um, uh, sparks that come out. But it's important to be able to accomplish that. But then it's important to totally get that disregarded and bring it down uh, through the variac in power. And what you can do is radiate uh, uh, vibration. <laughs> and that's what we're talking about right here is vibration, the other side of electricity, the other side of, of magnets is vibration. So let's fire this puppy up. I'm ready. Okay. So here we go. Got my little beeper. We got some action going now. Let me go ahead and turn it up a little bit. Here's the frequency. It, it'll keep correcting itself. Frequency. Let's go up a little higher. Hope you guys can hear that. Right now, gas pedal wise, we're probably got the pedal halfway. In between little low to half to half. Readjusting, going higher. Half a million kilohertz. Now, see on these uh, frequencies, with this five five five, you're um. Capacitor is what gets you the frequencies. There's different range frequencies each size capacitor provides. And the one I'll show you here I have set up um, is obviously for this range. So almost to a million. Now we drop down. One million. All right, so I'll go back down south. Can you hear that? I just went up too high, but.
can't even hear it, the pitch is so high. That's wide open. You can see the lines, it's almost like a picket fence. But look at that square that is set on there. All right, my, my ears are starting to affect me. But anyway, so if you guys want to start uh, checking your coils, a good way to do it is to build a um, 555 pulser. And just use your potentiometer and uh, use your oscilloscopes. And what you do is your plus comes out of your your um, output of your 555 to the to the um, bottom of the secondary. And then the top wire just goes up in the air. And then you do the same thing with the oscilloscope. Um, you take this and you put a little thing of wire on it, about six inches, copper wire, and you stick it up in the air. And um, you take the other half and you set it to ground. So uh, let me turn this off. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're um, making your own setups, uh, if you this helps hopefully at all to in, in any of your makeup of your setups um, type in some comments I appreciate it and um, we'll go over another little version with a um, uh, like a transistor and um, <clears throat> we'll uh, work on a circuit that will work along with the uh, tunings rods here and uh, through the vibration that it picks up from the transmitter it will oscillate through the wire and uh, it would yes yes here and it um there you go thank you and it'll uh sort of stand on the carrier wave um, of, of the natural medium to uh, transmit power. So uh, th this is pretty exciting stuff. Um, the air capacitance, uh, I don't see a lot of people using those. And um, <clears throat> we're gonna got, we're gonna do some experiments. I'm taking some apart. I'm gonna, um, be able to vary them in and out because they seem fixed. At least these are, but most of them that I've seen. And not only are we going to adjust the bottom for um, for volume, for um, um, uh, space, I guess, or uh, um, uh, volume of, of you know how much surface you got, but. Um, also, the distance, which creates the capacitance in between the plates, is definitely the distance. So um, we're going to experiment with that with some spark gaps, and um, I'm hoping that uh, coming through the air capacitor, um, through um, possibly a bank of capacitors, um, I know they're going to jump through here, so maybe that won't work, but. But even so, with this, with low voltage, but be able to control a switch of some sort um, is very important. And, um, okay, you guys. Thanks for watching. 15 minutes of, uh, of some fun. Hope you guys enjoyed what you see. Peace out. Ed Leeds Gallon, Tesla, rock on. My boy Maxwell. <laughs>